it's Liz from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Uh, today I am going to show you how to make this card. I've seen a lot of uh, projects with lots of lavender on Pinterest and in other places and I think I've even done some here myself. Um, but I thought I would have another go at making a card with this stamp set. So it's one of the celebration items which means that it's free with a qualifying uh, qualifying pro purchase my brain i'm sorry um so during celebration for every 45 pounds you spend you get to choose something from the celebration catalog for free um, and if you spend 90 pounds this year you can choose either two of the standard celebration items or there are two items that are um for 90 pounds or over but for every £45, it's, it just rolls up. Um, so, yeah, if you haven't got your celebration or your spring summer catalogue yet, just fill in the form on my blog post, which is linked below, and I'll get those out to you straight away. That's if you're in the UK. That's um, the only region that I currently work in. So let's get started on this card. Um, as ever, the dimensions will be over on my blog, the post for which is linked immediately below. Um, so no having to remember what day it was that I shared this video. It's always in the description bar. We're using Pear Pizzazz, Perfect Plum and Wisteria Wonder because they seemed like the right colours to me. Um, and it's my card. So there. Uh, right, OK, so let's start with the actual lavender. Oh, and of course, Memento. What was I thinking? I need some Tuxedo Black as well. You could use the um, basic black, but basic black does stain your stamps. You can still use them perfectly well, but it does stain your stamps. So um, for photopolymer, that's only photopolymer. For photopolymer, I tend to use the Memento in preference. Um, so yeah, and that's why. Uh, the other stamps, I will let's grab a few more smaller blocks because this is definitely a small block project I don't think we need that one um, so and I may have to clean some of my stamps along the way so let's get actually I'll get those out so that they're ready to go let's start with the basic stamping the dimensions are all on my blog post so don't worry about writing them down um, and they'll be in metric and imperial so whichever you work in we're good to go so let's ink up um, our lavender image and this is similar to but not exactly the same as some of the imagery in our new card kit um, which is in the spring summer catalogue so it's it's quite a nice one to coordinate with that so I'm using whisper white and this is a piece of four inches by two inches those of you who know me know, oh, that's not stamped well. Just as well, there's two sides. And let's bring in, let's bring in, she says famous and last words, a stamping pad, because it's possible that I've got a dent on my work surface, which might be why that happened. So let's try that again. This is, of course, that when I get my stamparatus, which I'm hoping will be here very soon. Um, I could just re-ink and re-stamp and it would all be good. So let's try that again. Yeah. That's better. If in doubt, use a pad. Right. Okay. So we might as well leave the pad there as we are stamping the same part. So I'm using Wisteria Wonder for my background. I am I know it's called Lots of Lovely, but I see all sorts of flowers in here. So I have actually used this in all sorts of colours. Um, so, yeah. Don't ask me what they are, because I'm not a... Not really a gardener. I have a garden, um, but I don't know what it is I'm growing. I tend to just grow things that look pretty because that's that's just how I like things. Um, right, so let's 
add some leaves with pear pizzazz. Uh, both leaves and the stalks. So this, though this is in inverted commas two-step stamping, it's slightly more than two. Uh, so this one goes up here, and because it's photopolymer, it's easy to see through. Um, they're not supposed to line up perfectly anyway, so it's not one of those ones that you have to be precise on. They're kind of a rough approximation of, of where they're meant to be. So that's that, and then I need to just clean off one of these blocks the stamp so that I can do the ribbon and then I'll need to do a bit more cleaning to do the inside of the card because yes I've stamped inside the card can you believe it I'm trying to do it more regularly so this is perfect plum because it goes being part of the same perfect same you know color family actually I'm going to do that double strength because it's a bit wussy here we are. That's better. So, yes, perfect plum. And that's that. While I am stamping, let me show you what I've done on the inside of the card. There's this little rose cluster. So I'm going to do that as well. So let's grab a card base. That would have been a good start, really, wouldn't it? Fortunately, I have a few prepared. So here's one I prepared earlier. So this is just standard A4 card cut in half and scored down the middle to make an A6 card base and then let's take that out grab our little rose and some memento ink and obviously because it's a white card base I'm not putting a liner in if it were pretty much any colour other than very vanilla or white I would put a liner in but it's not, so I'm not. Right, okay, so I now need more of the small stamps, or small blocks, I should say. So let's have a quick clean. Oop, and clean, clean and remove so that I can add the other bits. Right, so I don't need that, so that can go back there, don't need the stalks, don't need the leaves, do need that funny little infill and there's two sets of leaves for this for this so I'm going to put them both on the same block, I'll probably regret that and then there's two funny little dots um, which you see here these two funny little dots they fill in the um, the dots strangely so let's start with what did I do I did perfect plum so let's grab perfect plum again ink up ink up our rose and stamp off Just stamping off to the side because I've got a bit of scrap over there Oop, get it the right way up, that's always a good idea. Lovely. So that's that. Don't need that anymore. No, I do need that some more. So then taking the two dots, I'm going to... They are... One is slightly... Can you see what I'm doing? Probably not. One is a slightly larger dot than the other. Um, not that I think it really matters if you get them... The wrong way round, um, but one is technically slightly larger than the other. Then pear pizzazz, and uh, do I want to stamp off? No, I don't think I do. Pear pizzazz is a fairly pale colour anyway. That's that one. I'm going to take that off so that I don't have it in the way when I then stamp this one wouldn't have been in the way don't know why I was worried there we are, so that's the inside of the card done I have, you will be delighted to know um, 
prepared the bases. So I've already run my um, Perfect Plum through the <laughs> Petal Burst Textured Impressions embossing folder. Um, so that will go on the ba base of the card. Don't need this anymore, so let's get rid of it. Um, so let's run some fast fuse here. I could use Tombow and I should have used Tombow, but I didn't. So there we go. I say should have. I does, doesn't matter whether I do or not, frankly. So that's that. Now, don't need any of those. Let's get them out of the way. Our stamped image and fast fuse down the middle. And sort of straight on that. And then I've got a piece of the foil, which I've gutted. So I've got this piece still left to use for something else. And then that will go over the top. And then that gets stuck on with stamping dimensionals. So while I'm doing this, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I want to have more people subscribe to my channel. So I thought if I asked, you might do so. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, oh, by the way, the subscribe button is bottom right hand corner. If you have enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, oops. If you need any of the dimensions, if you want any of the products, uh, there's a list of the products over on my blog post and the, the post for this video is, or for this uh, project is immediately below this video so it will take you straight over there and from there you can just hop over to my online store um, I'd love to welcome you as a customer um, I try to look after my customers really well and send you prezzies and stuff and if you use the hostess code you get to share in the hostess rewards and during celebration there are more rewards um, so yeah perfect so I hope you've enjoyed that if you did do give it a thumbs up um, say hop over to my um, to my blog and uh, pop everything you need in your basket and then you can earn free stuff during celebration um, and if you're interested in joining my team there's some information about that over on my blog posts as well so yeah um, any queries questions either comment here or over on my blog or drop me an e-line uh, an e-line an email uh, my contact details are over on my blog Thank you very much for watching and I will see you again very soon.